Hi, Farmer Carrie. What are the fun things happening at the farm this week? Oh, Miss Lavasser, this is the middle of May and we've had so many fun things. First fun thing, our juncos. Remember, they were eggs and then they were little babies in the nest. Well, this week they fledged. You know what fledging is? When they get their wings and it's too crowded in the nest and they hopped out. Let's go look at the little nest with, oh, look at the one little egg left behind. It didn't hatch, but the others did. They hopped out. And then we realized, oh my goodness, they were hopping through the grass. We had to be careful where we were walking. It was amazing. Now they've kind of gone off, but we could tell where they were in the grass because the parents were really chirping faster and louder than when they were giving us that warning chirp. So that was a super fun thing to have our little baby juncos fledge. And then now they've hopped off with their parents somewhere. Now we have a robin nest in the harvest shed. Look what it did. Now up in the bamboo in the harvest shed, is a robin's nest. Now, luckily we didn't need to disturb this to make our bean teepees. So robin is up there with the little babies and we have heard them chirping. So that's fun thing number one. Fun thing number two is our kale. We spent a lot of time in the kale patch this spring and now guess what? We're gonna pull it out because this is gonna be a carrot bed and it's pretty much all pollinated, but we aren't gonna save our seeds because there's a million different kinds of kale here and the seeds won't be true. So I just want to tell everybody, say goodbye to our kale plants because next week they won't be here. We're Bye gonna kale. take them out. And I wish all you second and third graders were here to pull them out. Okay, let's go off to fun thing number three. We're over here in our little bed where we've been planting native bulbs. And remember I told you, I'd let you know when the chocolate lily has, is blooming? Well, here it is. And it has such a delicate little flower. Look at that, it's so sweet. These are very young plants. I can't wait till they come back every year. It has a really fun name too, Fritillaria. Isn't that fun to say Fritillaria? That's the Latin name for a chocolate lily. Now over here, we have our nodding onions. Remember I told you about them? And you know what? They're nodding. Look at this. It's little flowers coming up and it kind of nods down. See how it goes up and it floops down. So that's our nodding onion. Our camas is almost done. So this is our fun little native, native bulb section. And we also have over next to it, our wonderful Physelia, which volunteered. And this is called Bee's Friend. And that's our little flower corner here in the garden. Now, let's go, fun thing number four is our worm bin. Let's go check that out. Hmm. Whoa, look at there. This is where we layer our food scraps with aged horse manure. And then the wormies come up and they eat our food scraps. And let's see what we got here. I can tell there's a lot of worms in here. Look at all those worms. See them? We're gonna be feeding them later today and that's gonna be another video. Let's see, I was pawing around this earlier today, but we have lots and lots of worms in there. Dig down, see them all? Oh, there's a nice patch of them. There you go, see? So that is fun thing number four. They don't like the light. They're gonna go back down. Our wonderful worm bin that is making great worm compost or vermicastings for us to fertilize our plants with. So that's fun thing number four. Now, wait till you see what fun thing number five is. This is really fun. Whoops, let me cover them up first. Okay, bye wormies, we're gonna feed you later. So Mr. Lavasser, mm. look at the bean teepee. It's so tall, it's like 20 feet tall. We just put it in the ground today. We have a special video on that. And now we're gonna prep the soil a little bit more. We're gonna plant the magic beans. And you know what those magic beans are gonna do? Oh, there's a little horseradish. When we plant these beans, they're gonna start to go round and round. Beans go around. They're not like P 
peas that are like little monkey hands, the beans are gonna curve around and they're gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and pretty soon in the fall, it's gonna be one big bean teepee and it'll have beautiful, these reddish orange flowers that the bees love and it's gonna make those delicious green beans. And then what does it do when we let it mature? Look, it makes more magic beans. And here are beans that we saved from another bean teepee. See? And we're gonna plant these later. First, we have to do a little prep because we just got it in the ground. This is hot off the press, so to speak, but we'll plant our little beans. And we also started some. These are little baby scarlet runner beans that we started in soil blocks to give them a head start. So we'll plant the soil blocks and we'll plant the beans and we're gonna watch our bean teepee grow. So that's the fifth fun thing. The middle of May, we always get our bean teepee planted. Well, that's really great, Farmer Carey. Thank you so much. There's so many fun things going on in the garden. Well, thank you, Mr. Lavasser. There was so much more I wanted to share, but this is enough for today. Bye, Mr. Lavasser. Bye, Farmer Carey. <laughs>